Okay, I wanted to finish up this problem um, by showing you how to solve that integral. Uh, I'm not going to actually show you how to solve it, but what, what you do to solve it. I'll let your math teachers explain how the, the um, techniques that you would use to solve that integral. Okay, so um, let's take a look. If you remember the problem, just to remember the problem here, is we have a, a line of charge, Q, that's spread out in, sp in space along the y-axis and it's got a length L, a charge Q, and we wanted to know the electric field um, a distance A from its midpoint, and so we broke this into a bunch of little DQs, and I found the expression for just one of the DQs, and this expression comes from just this equation, E equals KQ over R squared, but that's tailored to the, uh, the, the actual problem. And then once I get that expression, I'm going to use an integral to sum up all the different dQs. But I have to remember that the electric field's a vector quantity, so I really want to sum up the, the um, x components, the y components cancel. Okay, so I did all that, and um, I got my, I had, I at one time had three variables in the equation, and but I was able to get it down to one variable. My variable is y. Everything else in here is a constant except for y. Now I'm going to go to solve this and so there's two ways you can do it. You can either take a, a TI-89 or a TI-91 and it will, the, those calculators will actually solve this for you. Um, or you can go to the back of, a, of your textbook. This is Appendix B in your textbook. And um, I know it's really, really tough to read here, but it's actually, um, this is a table of integrals, and you just look for the integral that matches your form, and for me, that would be this one right here. So this is right in the back of your textbook. I'm going to actually Xerox one of these and give it to you in class. Okay, so um, because it's so hard to read, I've written it down a little bit better so that you can read it. So this is what you'd find right in the back of the book. Here's the integral, and here is its solution. Now, how do you get from here to there? I'm going to let your math teacher explain that to you. But on my tests, you can just use the table of integrals if you want. Okay? Or your calculator. So um, let me go ahead then and, and solve for this. Turns out that um, the differential they're using is dx, so that's the variable. Their variable is x. My variable is y, but my constant is a, and so is their constant. Okay, so I'm going to just write down the solution to this integral. ex is, I'm going to first put all my constants here, k, q, a over l. And now I'm going to put the solution to this integral. It's 1 over a squared. And then um, I'm going to put in not x, this says x, but my variable is y, so I'm going to put in y. And then um, it's going to be y squared, not x squared, but y squared plus a squared square root it. Okay, so there you have it. And then let me put on my boundary conditions. Now here's the thing, I'm going to show you a, a quick trick. I would normally write down L over 2 and negative L over 2. But instead I'm going to put a 0 here. And then I'm going to put a 2 over here. Now let me show you what, why I'm doing that. Because if you look at the problem, rather than integrating from L over 2, negative L over 2, all the way to L over 2, I'm just going to integrate from here to there. I'm going to tell the integral to start at 0 and keep adding up all these integrations until you get to the top. Now, the, the reason I'm doing that is because um, then if I only do from here to there, I'll be off by a factor of 2. So I'll just double that answer. And so you got to be careful when you're doing that, that you, re that you can do that. But um, that, that will work in this case. So I'm going to go from 0 to L over 2. Now the reason I'm doing that is because when you substitute a 0 in, it's much easier than substituting a negative L over 2. But as I said, I need a 2 here then. So I'm going to sneak a 2 right in there. So that 2 is going to take care of the fact that I'm only integrating half of it. 
Okay, so let me um, go ahead and throw in the, the, um, the value then for y. e in the x direction is 2kqa over l. And then I'm going to put in l over 2, uh, excuse me, 1 over a squared. And then for y, I'm going to put in l over 2. And then for this y, I'm going to put in l over 2, so that'd be, but it's squared, so it's l squared over 4 plus a squared. Okay, so there's my answer. Now we can um, simplify that a little bit. This 2 right here will cancel with that 2. And um, this a right here will cancel with one of those a's. And this l right here will cancel with that l. And so I'm left with the following equation. I'm left with that e to the x is equal to k q over a um, times, um, or also in the denominator there is l squared over 4 that's a square right there, it's hard to see, plus a squared. Okay, so that's the answer. Now, um, you can check that in the back of the book if it's, if it's an odd problem, if it's an odd numbered problem. But uh, another way to do this is to look at the extreme cases. And so you, you can, if you take a look back at our problem, what would happen if L weren't um, that long, but if we squished it down, if we squished L down so that it was really tiny, if L were really tiny, then this would behave like a point charge. So if L gets really tiny, we should expect this to be, behave like a point charge, a distance A away. And so what we should get is the, the um, equation E is equal to KQ over A squared. Let's see if we get that, if we let that shrink down. So as L approaches zero, then let's see, if we may let L approach zero, then we're left with um, that term goes to zero. And so this is going to just be A squared in the, denom in the square root. And so that's going to be, sure enough, ex will be approximately, or if we let, if it, it pre, well, we'll say approximately equal to kq over a squared, just what we should get. I'm not saying factorial or anything like that. I'm saying that I'm excited to have gotten the electric field for a point charge. All right. Uh, that's all I need to tell you on that one. Thanks. Bye.